What is up? My name is Mo and this is a 3D model of my brain. I guess you could say this episode is going to be mind boggling. So a few weeks ago I went to the doctor due to severe and very strong headaches and the doctor suggested an MRT scan which stands for magnetic resonance tomography and basically what that means is they stick you into a giant tube for 15 minutes and really strong magnets polarize the hydrogen atoms inside your head and that's somehow translated uh, into an image which represents a, a slice of your brain. Oh yeah, and if you wonder how that sounds like, um, here's a little preview of that. Yeah. 15 minutes, boy. <laughs> And a few days ago, uh, the envelope arrived, which had uh, not only the printed version of my scans, but also the digital version on a CD. So I was able to open the scans uh, with a pre-installed program, which is basically the equivalent to the PDF viewer. So you can just view them, you can not, can't do anything with them. So I searched on the internet and found this program which is called Osiri X. And fortunately they have a light version on their website to download for free if you register 20 times. Then I found out how to view the scans in 3D and yeah, that's basically how you do it. So the first step is to import your scans. So I gotta censor that so that you don't look at my secret files. And yeah, I have here 130 uh, 40 pictures actually so it might take a while depending on the resolution and click copy data then you want to double click it after that you click this tab and select 3d surface rendering then you present it with a couple of settings uh, for mine I chose uh, this kind of resolution and put that uh, to the maximum value basically yeah and hit OK and depending on the computer that you have and also resolution and stuff uh, this might take a while for me it will take a very long time because I'm recording also so. May we proceed now? Please proceed. Will the real Slim Shady please proceed? Yes, okay. So, as you can see, the calculations were successful and we have now a 3D object that we can export into any of these formats. I chose SDL because uh, Blender couldn't uh, manage the OBG file so I recommend the SDL export. It's also better for 3D printing. And yeah, export it and you're done. So initially I wanted to 3D print the model of my brain and as you already might have noticed the module I got out of the export wasn't really clean so I had to go in 
to Blender and clean it up manually, which uh, kind of sucked, but I, yeah, eventually got done. And yeah, this is the result you're seeing now. Then after that, I went into Cura, which is a 3D printing software and sliced it and prepared it basically for the print, which in a, as a whole took about 17 hours. And yeah, I turned the printer on in the evening and waited till the morning. So at the next day the print was done and always my favorite part about 3D printing is the satisfying crunch when you snap off the print from the building area. This concludes today's video and I hope you like it. Thanks a lot and stay tuned for the next one when I print the rest of my body. <laughs> Ciao! And yeah, if you wonder, uh, my headache was just migraine. So yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs>